that game, that's one of them. It felt like a NCAA game. Uh, every possession matters. Intense game. The fans are going crazy. Uh, it's split right down the middle. I mean, there's 22,000 people there. It's always been a, a great atmosphere and it's a great game. It always comes down to uh, something in the last couple of minutes that we're going to play really hard. With nine new guys, you know, it's all about teaching them the ways we do things around the University of Illinois. The team always has to be together. If one person strays away, that can hurt the team a lot. We got, like, dogs on our team, and that's what Coach likes. He likes competitors. Toughness, you ask Coach, is just being mentally strong and physically loose. Well, it's just about time to head back down to St. Louis, Missouri, the Scott Trade Center for the annual Bragging Rights game, 33rd edition. Illinois trying to snap a four-game skid in the series against number 23, Missouri. We're committed to find a way to get the job done. <coughs> Toughness and togetherness for 40 minutes. Trust. Trust the system. Trust yourself. Trust your teammates. Don't let anybody steal your mind. So glad to have you with us as we get ready for this one from the Scott Trade Center in downtown St. Louis. Oh, let's get it going. Well, John Gross wearing the orange jacket. Oh, yes. Today, the Illini wearing blue. Everybody standing, getting ready for number 33 in this long running drama. Man, every year, right before Christmas. <laughs> oh, is that the scrap Jerry Hester in? Yes. Egwu and Williams to jump it up at center, and the tap is won by Egwu. Illinois' toughness would be tested immediately after Missouri jumped out to an 8-0 lead. Rice drives baseline to the basket, up and under, and oh, oh. oh, a circus bank oh. shot! Along the baseline, Maverick kicks to the left corner, Rice for three, got it! Right wing, Bertrand trying to create, it's a tough shot in the lane, it's good! Here is Revante Rice back in the game playing with two fouls. Drives baseline, kicks to Kendrick Nunn, who buries a three. 10.48 for the half, down four. Abrams, top of the key, three, and he got it. Lead cut from nine to one. Here's the inbound under the basket, another turnover. Bad pass, Nunn gets it ahead to Revante Rice for the lead, and he got it. For Here we go. And the Illini have the lead just inside the arc, the right wing, timeout, Missouri. Here is Abrams, dribble drive down the lane, floater off balance, it's good! Pass to Tate, right corner, Bertrand for three, got it! Why not? Keep the momentum going in the halftime. Abrams, pretty feet inside to Egwu, baseline 10 footer, rimmed and Iki with a follow! None, right wing, eight to shoot. Pass to Abrams, dribble drive to the basket, layup is good! And one! And he's fouled on the way in! A interesting first half. Woo. Illinois very shaky out of the game. Illinois entered the second half 20 minutes away from a signature non-conference win and the program's 1700th all-time victory. Flicks it out top to Joe Bertrand, stutter step, jump step in the lane, leads in and put it up and in. They've gotten away with it, here is Abrams driving to the other end with a layup and it's good! Tracy Abrams, out of Tate with five, Jalen into the lane, throws it up and it goes in! None, dribble drive, kick, left corner, Egwu for three, got it! Turnover, Illinois, Brown to Clarkson with a flush. Slam dunk, Missouri, and they go up by four. Timeout, Illinois. Dribbles to the right wing, nice down the lane. Tracy with a layup, it's good. Count it, count it, and he's fouled. Illinois was down five at a moment ago. They could take the lead. Here is Abrams, pull up from 17 is good. There we go. See Abrams. Rice, dribble drive, down the lane, layup, it's good. A minute 58 left. 59-58 Illinois, here is Clarkson, kicks, right corner three, good! Ernest Ross, out top to Bertrand. Bertrand on the dribble drive, go. kick right to Eaton, for the lead for three, there it is. he buried it, there he was. buries it, he buried it left wing! You called it, Jerry, 62-61, Illinois up by one, 40 seconds left, now a drive to the basket, Ross with a layup, missed it, no good, ball loose on the floor, Abrams has got it! The Illini have the ball in the lead with 25 seconds left, and Rice is fouled near midcourt. 62-61 Illinois, up and good. Rice hits the free throw. Marks in the inbound, gets
gets it to Ross, flips it back to Clarkson, right corner for a three. Brown nailed it. Jamari Brown with a three. And Missouri's back in front. 14 seconds left. Who's it going to be? Eggwood gets out of there with it to Abrams with five. Abrams down the lane is fouled on the way to the basket. Two shots for Abrams. This one would tie it. It is good. Tied at 64. This would give Illinois the lead with 4.6 left. Second one for Tracy. In the air. It is good. Now 65-64, Missouri out of timeouts. Right eye full court pressing. Inbound Criswell to punch it off his shoulder. Criswell has to run it down with one. Mid-court shot. It's all yes. And the Missouri streak, which has never been longer than four, will stay at four. Because the Illini have won it 65-64, the final here in St. Louis. A lot of teams would have wilted in that environment down 15-6. They would have. But not you guys. That's not what we're about. That's not who we are. And we kept attacking. That was a hell of a job. On the Great job, fellas. Keep going. Keep growing. This is one step to where we're headed right now. Big one. One step. We keep getting better, okay? All right, Joe, you got it. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three. Finish. The Fighting Illini headed up to their home away from home, the United Center, to face in-state foe Illinois Chicago. The Flames jumped out to a 13-point lead in the first half behind Purdue transfer Kelsey Barlow. Barlow for three, and he starts off by getting the first three of the game. Now Barlow being guarded by Iki. Barlow, strong to the hoop. The Illini roared back in the second half behind Ravante Rice's 16 second half points. Dribbles to the top of the key, drives on Brown, down the lane. Rice, layup, good. Oh, Ravante Rice does it again. Abram, stutter step, drive. Underneath, finds Bertrand, who stuffs it in on the baseline. Here's Ravante, dribble drive to the basket, layup, good. Ravante Rice, they can't stop him. Down to 12.53 for the game. Abrams gets it into Rice. Dribble drive, spin, they can't stop him. Layup is good. Got it, and he's fouled. And Rice with 21. It's your game, Ravante. It is your game today. Here comes Illinois on the break, left to right. Rice from Abrams for three. Got it. Oh, he's on fire. Ravante Rice is on fire. It's your show. Chicago. Kept alive by Egwu, taps it out, Ravante Rice. Find Bertrand open for three, and he got it That's from the shot. left corner. 28 for the junior from Champaign. Standing ovation. Rice also shut down Barlow in the second half and limited him to three points on one of seven shooting. That's going to do it for the ball game. Welcome, everybody, inside the State Farm Center in Champaign, Illinois. It is Big Ten basketball, the Big Ten season opener for the Illini. They come in 11 and 2 after a win over UIC. And we got a pretty full house, I would say, oh, to yes. say the least. Place is packed here on this New Year's Eve day. Doesn't matter when you play, middle of the day, in the middle of the week. If it's Illinois, Indiana, it's going to be packed. Exactly. And it's the first home game, first game of the Big Ten season. Borowski, though, the lead official. He'll toss it in the air, kind of threw it up awkwardly, and Illinois winds up winning the tip. Indiana starts in a man-to-man. -man. Rice drives to the basket, layup is good. Bounce pass to Hollowell on the right baseline, leads in, shot blocked by Nana Egwu to the corner. Morgan with a touch at 6'10", turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound, Bertrand is up and in. Bertrand on the follow. 
10-04 for the half drive. Pull off for the baseline right side. It's good! Out top to Nunn. Illinois was up eight a couple minutes ago. Here's Nunn. Drives to the basket. Up and under. And in! Oh, great finish by Kendrick Nunn. And he's fouled. They'll try to probe this way. Bertrand drives in. Floater. Up off the glass. No good. And by Eki. And he slaps it up and in. Bertrand puts it on the deck. Pull up for 15. It's good. Sheehy pass stolen by Rice. Rice headed the other way. Layup is good. Oh, oh, oh. He's, fouled. he's a grown man. The Illini withstood six Indiana three pointers in the first half while making none of their own, but still went into halftime tied. Gets it out top to Eki. Now to Nunn between the circles. Puts it on the deck. Drives and lays it in. Hendrick Nunn. Pass in the corner to Iki, lob to Nana Egwu, drops it to Iki with a layup, got it. Farrell, way out near midcourt with five, gonna have to do something bad pass, stolen. Abrams with a steal, Illinois on the break, Abrams all the way down the lane, lays it in. <laughs> Back to Rice, right corner three, got it. <laughs> he has 21. Here we go. Daylight, I can take the lead. Into the front court, Ray Bonte. Rice on the dribble drive, Worman is way inside, layup, it's gone! <laughs> Farrell spins one down inside to Bonley, runs over Igwu in an offensive foul. 67-67, Illinois and Indiana. Abrams to Bertrand. Cross court in front of us, Rebonte Rice, alley oop to Bertrand. Oh. He stuffs it home! He stuffs it home! Why, young man, why? Indiana, they've got a chance to win it. Tied at 71, down to eight seconds. Farrell out near midcourt. Or Gordon down near midcourt. Abrams on him with four. Down the lane, Gordon. Head fake, puts it up for the baseline. Short, we're going to overtime. Egwu and Bonley buying for the tap. It's won by Egwu. Here's Abrams, drives on Farrell. Kicks to Nana, 17 footer, he's good. He nailed that one. Under two left, 75-75. Illinois and Indiana. Abrams, crossover, drives, floater, bank shot, good. Abrams drives in from the right side and scores it. In a tight Big Ten game, 50-50 balls often determine the outcome. Bertrand under the basket, we got a foul on Indiana. Second one for Joseph Bertrand is no good. Rebound, who's got it, Indiana? Baldy, Eke stole it. Eke stole it away no. from Baldy, oh. and he gets a timeout. Oh, oh Eke. John Eke. Illinois struggled to put away the Hoosiers at the free throw line. A Yogi Ferrell three-pointer brought Indiana within a point, and they would have one final chance to tie it. Eight seconds left, do not foul. Give it to him. Here is Farrell for three, got it. Timeout Indiana with 3.1. 82-80 Illinois, second one for Rice. In the air, and he got it. Rolled it in, wow, used every part of the rim. Hollowell to inbound. Egwu in front of him, throws it near midcourt, caught. Thrown to Farrell, knocked away by Illinois. And the Illini have won. They've beaten Indiana again in a thriller in Champaign. 83-80 in overtime. Man, what, what, what a ball game. game. The field goal in the last six minutes and 30 seconds of the game is all I got. Our defense, when we needed it, was tough. Great job, fellas. That was a hell of a basketball game. Holy cow, that was fun. Okay, there's 17 more like it coming up. I was telling you the other day, they're all dog fights. Okay? Uh, great job. Really proud of the effort. I thought we got contributions from everybody. Congratulations, we're at 1 0. Now there's 17 more of them coming. And we take it one at a time. Okay, we got Penn State on, uh, on Saturday. It's the honoring of the 89 Flying Illini deal. They'll all be here this weekend. There's no guarantees in this deal, but there is one guarantee. If you don't fight in this deal, then, then you don't give yourself a chance. And you fought. Okay, you fought. Always got to fight. We always choose fight. We never fly away from things around here. Okay? Again, really proud of you. Uh, really love your toughness. I love our uh, togetherness. Yeah! yeah! Hell of an effort, man. Hell of an effort. Okay, DJ, you got it. One, two, three. Ball, 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 ball. One, two, three. Finish. Finish.
With Penn State in town, Illinois basketball celebrated the 25th anniversary of one of the best and most beloved teams in school history, the 1989 Flying Illini. I played professional basketball for a long time. I played in high school. No moment has ever captured me like that moment when we beat Syracuse to go to the Final Four. You see the guys and you reminisce as if it happened yesterday. You know, all the hanging out, the party, you know, getting together, the having fun, the camaraderie. I mean, it's just great. Believe it or not, John Gross is building the program right now. It's building it back to where it should be. He took us to the NCAA tournament last year. You know, he has everything right on the right track. When it was announced that he would be the new coach here at the University of Illinois, I called him, congratulated him, uh, welcomed him into the line, our family and he hit the ground running. He hadn't stopped since. I mean, he's bringing energy, desire, and he's determined to get Illinois brand of basketball back to where it needs to be. Illinois put together one of its most complete performances of the season. The Illini held the Nittany Lions under 30% shooting on the defensive end and used 9-0 runs at the start of both halves to comfortably beat the Nittany Lions. Crowd rises to its feet on this day. We saluted the flying Illini. Illinois wins by 20 over Penn State, 75-55 in the final. Those guys helped pave the way for us to, you know, be in such a good situation that we're in right now. It's an opportunity to play for Illinois, and those guys, you know, they, they won games, you know, they, they, they bought into it to the Illinois way.